Hi, I'm Deacon Jacob, and this is the Gospel Minute, where I read the Gospel for the upcoming Sunday and offer a short reflection in preparation for Mass. This coming Sunday, we celebrate the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, and our Gospel is from the Gospel of John. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, in the beginning of this Gospel, we hear the often heard line of John 3.16. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. What a beautiful verse. And focusing just on the very beginning, I think is uh, important for this session of God so loved the world that he gave his only son. When we think of the Trinity, this is really the source of our love, right? We are people who believe in a Trinitarian God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And God is love, as it says in 1 John, God is love. And he, of course, is the source of our love then. God created the world because this love is so powerful. And we, as humans, are made in God's image. So we, too, are made for love and made to receive love. So how beautiful it is then. You know, there's the Father and the Son, uh, God the Father and God the Son in this relationship of love, giving and receiving, and then also the Holy Spirit itself, which is the love between the Father and the Son. And we won't ever be able to fully comprehend it in this world, but we can know something about it, and we can come to know God deeper and His love. And of course, God not only is, uh, has a great love for the world, but he gave his son. In his love, you know, he sent God the Son who came into the world to save us, to show his love through sacrifice. So, of course, for us then, we know we receive love uh, in our own life from our parents. He's you know, maybe an image we could use. But also, of course, from God the Father, ultimately. And then, if we want it to flourish in our own lives, we can't just receive, but we need to give love also. So we go out and serve and love our neighbor and our enemies, not because it's a nice thing to do, not only because of that, but because God first loved us, and that love should spill over from us to others. So that's just something to reflect upon as we approach this Trinitarian Sunday. What a joyful time it is to celebrate the Holy Trinity, our one God. And um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in this week. And always remember that Jesus Christ loves you and died and rose for you. And he walks by you every day to enlighten, strengthen, and guide you. God bless.